So Sophie, have you digested that over from yesterday for YouTube? <laughs> uh, to be honest, all nights are a bit of a blur, so um, yeah, uh, I think that power play, everything went really quick, and they obviously got off to a flyer, and um, the sense of the time out, we were pretty calm still, because we knew it was going to be a good weekend, we were playing with some, some, some pretty, pretty world-class players, and we knew that it was really easy to just take you know, one over or just a couple of wickets to, to change the flow of the game. Um, yeah, it was, it was great, five back from the girls. Shanka was here a couple of minutes ago and she told us about how you were constantly going and telling the other spinners in the team that, you know, this this area of the pitch has something in it. Try and do this, try and do that. Is that something you consciously do just as a spinner across wherever it is that you play? Is that something that's part of just how you work with your players? Uh, yes, no, I think we made a really conscious decision about you know, a week ago, two weeks ago, that um, communication was going to be a really big important thing for us, uh, especially as a speed group, because we've been playing on a different pitch every single night. So, um, yeah, we did mention that to each other. So I think as a, as a group, we're able to do that. It's really well for us when it comes to the circuit. Okay. The last couple, I mean, I guess the last couple of days, right from uh, the Mumbai Indians games and then the Eliminator and the final, you guys have been winning on the trot and then it got you to the championship as well. What switched there between a couple of poor performances and then just, you know, finding your mojo as a team and then getting through? What perhaps, what turned in your favour? Uh, to be honest, it's, it's so hard to, to pinpoint something. Um, yeah, I think it's just a combination of things and, you know, there's... There's people, there's, there's staff members, there's coaches looking at games and throughout the whole tournament. So, yeah, we're, we're far from our uh, best career and our best team is coming. So, people are looking and, um, so, yeah, he saw that in us. And then, uh, it was just a yeah, different situation where we picked at the right time. And, um, yeah, it was a really enjoyable last, last part of the tournament, for sure. So you've been out of action for a couple of years, large, large part of a couple of years, and how, like, how easy or tough was it to have someone like Ellis Perry who you played with at the domestic level, international level, but also you share a good bonding outside of cricket. So how uh, good was it to have someone like her in the RCB game? Yeah, it was, it was really cool. I think um, both Georgia and MS um, have done really close friends with each closest mates. So to be able to get picked up in the same. In the same, That's right. Yeah, in the same team. Um, first, it was incredible, and yeah, to be able to, to experience a, a tournament like this, and it's especially not like last night, to invest in this, is um, yeah, pretty surreal.